the Game Capture HD60S allows you to stream and record video from a variety of sources. I've been a fan of the Elgato Game Capture line of devices for some time now. In fact, I own the HD60 and I own the previous version of that, the Game Capture HD. But now I have my hands on this right here, the Game Capture HD60S. Now you may be wondering what that S stands for. And to be honest, I, I really don't know. They don't really say in the documentation. However, I like to think that that S stands for speed because this device is the first Game Capture HD that features USB 3.0 connectivity. All of the previous Game Capture devices featured slower USB 2.0. And as you'll see a little bit later, it makes a difference when previewing your live streams. Now inside the box, there's the Game Capture HD 60S, a USB type C cable and a HDMI cable. You also have a sticker and some other documentation. Now visually, the two devices, the HD 60S and the HD 60 look almost exactly the same. There are some differences though. For instance, you'll notice a USB type C connection instead of the USB mini connection found on the HD 60. So here's the HD 60S on the bottom, the HD 60 on top, almost exactly the same. Obviously the USB ports are different and also the text is white on the HD 60S. So needless to say, both of these devices are very similar. However, the HD 60S includes something called Instant Game View. It takes advantage of the faster throughput afforded by USB 3.0. And Instant Game View provides what is almost a real-time preview of your streaming action. Now this does require a faster computer. Elgato is actually recommending a quad-core computer when using this feature on the HD 60S. So you may want to make sure that your computer can handle that. And if not, you can always buy the older HD 60. Now there is a USB type C cable included in the box, but the opposite end is actually a USB type A connection, meaning you'll still need a dongle for your MacBook Pro, unless you just use a USB type C to USB type C cable. And lastly, there's an HDMI cable to connect whatever input source you're capturing from. Now, before you can start using your HD 60S, you're going to need to download the Game Capture HD software from Elgato's website. This is the software that you can use to both record and stream your capture input. So for instance, you can connect your game console like your PlayStation 4 or your Nintendo Switch, or you can connect your Apple TV, or you can connect a camera like the GH5. And that's actually what I'm gonna do in this example. So once the software is downloaded, simply connect the USB cable to your HD 60S. And you should see it light up like that. And then it's just a matter of connecting the HDMI cable from your source. And my source, as I previously mentioned, is the Panasonic GH5 camera. So I'm recording this portion of the video with my iPhone, so excuse the shaky cam, but I wanted to demonstrate the amount of lag or the lack thereof on the live preview. And that is one of the advantages of the HD 60S with its USB 3.0 connection, much lower latency on the live preview. Now here is the HD 60 the non S version, and you can see the amount of latency because of that USB 2.0 connection. And that means previewing your stream isn't as effective on the HD 60 hardware when compared to the HD 60 S. That's the biggest difference between the two. Okay, so now I have my HD 60 S connected. I'm gonna go in here and make sure everything's configured okay. You can see you can change up the input device, so I can change that to a game console if I wanna do that, but I have it set to other since I'm recording my camera. And since I'm directly connected to my router, I'm gonna go ahead and stream this at 1080p, 60 frames per second. If I was connected over Wi-Fi, I would make it less, but you can see right here, I have it set to 1080p, 60, because I'm directly connected to my network. So I can go in here, make sure all my settings are correct. And I can also choose which service I want to stream to. So you see Twitch, YouTube, Ustream, etc. Another cool thing about the Game Capture software is that you can add these overlays right here on the screen. And you can actually edit those overlays to show videos or images or whatever you want. You can do that with ease. All you have to do is click this little button right here. And then you can choose get scenes, add image, add video, add a website if you want to. So you can add those overlays, you can customize those overlays. You can also record your input device directly. And that's something that I utilize a lot, especially when doing Hackintosh tutorials, it allows me to record the BIOS directly. And of course you can use the Game Capture app to play back the captured video, or you can edit that video directly within the app, or you can do like I do and export the video, load it into Final Cut Pro and edit it there. That's the way that I prefer to do it in most cases. 
So recording video is nice, but it's really the streaming that makes this whole setup special. Live streaming directly to YouTube or other services. So I'm gonna do that right now. So the stream is starting. You can see it's loading here. Eight megabits per second, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Okay, so we can open up the live stream directly in YouTube and manage it on the back end. That's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so we're on air. You can see the on air button. And you can see people starting to join. Four people already. And there's five people. And that'll just hopefully keep going up. There's seven now. And you can see people are already starting to chat in the live chat. So again, right now I am streaming 1080p 60 frames per second video from my Panasonic GH5 to the 9 to 5 Mac YouTube channel. And we are live right now. And you can see the people are starting to talk to me. What's up, Tech Overclocked? What's up, Truth Hurts? And everybody else, thank you for joining the live stream test. Okay, so let's play back the footage. It's kind of awkward, but I would like to go eventually one day. So this is from my live stream earlier. Do you think iPads are dying out? Well, the sales figures, I mean, they're not dying out, but year over year, quarter over quarter, sales figures have trended downward. So I just think Apple needs to take advantage. There's such powerful hardware inside the iPad, especially the Pro models, like the 12.9 inch Pro is still a beast. I mean, the iPad could be a force in enterprise. It could be a force in schools. It could be a force just with, you know, your average mom and pop if it was more capable. And the only thing that's holding it back is iOS. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a 1080p 60 frames per second live stream on YouTube courtesy of the Game Capture HD 60S along with my Panasonic GH5. And as I previously mentioned, this device isn't just limited to streaming from a camera. You can also connect your PlayStation 4 or your Nintendo Switch and live stream using those devices as well. So the HD 60S along with the Game Capture HD software, super easy way to go live on YouTube, Twitch, and others.